Hey guys, this is Eli from ViralTechGaming.com, and today I'm reviewing Cody Game Lab by Microsoft. So first off, if we go to options, we can see some options basically here. Um, you can use an Xbox controller on this game, so you can make games and play them on an Xbox controller. And also, Code Game Lab is available on Xbox 360. So, you can load a world, and to to begin working on it, um, I I have my world here somewhere. Anyways, I'm gonna open this game, and then I'm gonna stop and make a new empty world. Okay, so if I go off a little bit by using WASD, I can select this tool and make some terrain. Okay. Now after the terrain is done, you have to add a character. So, Kodu is the main character. You can also program another character for example you can use you can come here and you're a cycle and you move around on a cycle but in this video I'm going to be using Kodu so you can program on Kodu in many different ways you can play it on a keyboard or you can play it on an Xbox controller so if you want to do either of them you can just select a gamepad and arrows um, and then you can select the controls you want on a gamepad and then you can make do if it allows me here move okay and now if I play it you can move around now right now I'm using the keyboard but if I programmed on a gamepad I would be able to use that so on the world settings you have glass wall so if I disable that basically what it does is I'm able to go out of the terrain and just fall and then after I fall I, the game is over and you can select different camera modes right now it's on free mode you can make it fixed or you can make it offset fixed you can start a starting camera and then it changes and then you can change wave height uh, on water and then wave strength you can change the sky colors uh, the lighting of the day the breezes uh, start the game with a countdown or a description countdown you have the volume the scores and yeah and then if you select Cody again you can make him immobile. Uh, you can make it make him a creatable, so he's created by other things such as a blimp, uh, friction, all these settings here. Miss, you can you can make him shoot missiles, also anything basically. Okay. Now you can make a hill, and then you can smooth it out using your scrolling on your mouse just press it down and then this is if you're on like a laptop you can smooth it out this way um, this makes it rough like this this puts water uh, you can make them sink too so don't worry about that uh, so for the rest of the characters you have a trees an apple coins all of these guys all of these guys. It is kind of limited right now, but I know they are adding characters constantly. So if we exit to the main menu, I'll show you some extra features. So on community, you can basically upload your games or download other people's games. Let's find actually a game. Okay, hockey. This looks like a game. Okay, we can play it. Arrows? Yeah, arrows. Okay, this is like air hockey. And then the other guy uses WASD. Ah. 
actually a very simple game to make. Kind of hard. You can get lost at who lose who. Okay. Now you can also edit other people's games, but I don't know why you would do that. Uh, if you just want to change some settings yourself. Okay. You can go into your downloads and you can also export the game what that does is you're able to play it anywhere else so this has been Eli from Viral Tech Gaming reviewing Kodu thanks for watching we give Kodu a 5 out of 5 rating for its originality and simpleness to make your own game we recommend this to anyone who likes to play games make games or anything involving games it's a lot of fun Thanks for watching, guys.